Rob's open house of 2024 in Stratford-upon-Avon at their HQ. But I'm here to find out some of the updates as to what is happening with Rob here in the UK. Yes, Lindsay, welcome. We're very, very proud to have you here uh, at our second open house in the UK. Yes. Uh, as you can see, we're got many, many partners with us, 20 plus partners this time, three machines machining various demonstrations for the UK market to see. And yeah, business is good. But can you tell me why you've chosen the particular machines? Because obviously that's driven from industry. Yes, uh, we've got three machines here, uh, a 350 milling machine, 550 milling machine, a 550T, which is a mill turn machine, and automation. So we're seeing lots and lots of automation requests now in the UK. Over 80% of our quotations that go out to the market have automation included from the factory. So we've got our PSSR system here, which is a pallet storage system uh, for one machine, but we also do pallet storage systems for multiple machines as well. So yeah. And the key features I've chosen for this part, we've got pocketing. So, you know, problems that can be faced when pocketing any, any deep cavities, any vertical machine, you're going to recut your swarf. Obviously, you've seen the demonstration. We do most of that upside down. Benefit to the grub, or the swarf falls away. End of the cycle, you've got nothing on the bed. I'm sure any, any, any engineer can relate to uh, running a machine, swarf compacting. You know, if you've got a four axis machine or any kind of vertical, it, it really is a problem in industry, especially with your high volume aluminium parts. I mean, this part we take from uh, eight kilos to 0.8. It's not the largest components, you know, it's, it's, it's relatively simple, but it contains elements of um, high metal removal. You know, we've got deep hole drilling. We've got a maximum tool length on the 350, is 365 millimeter. And we have a tool that's 363. You know, the way the machine's built with the tunnel system, the entirety of that tool stays in the tunnel outside of the work envelope. So again, a lot of engineers in industry they're all handled, hand loaded tools, something that's outside the uh, operating window of the machine. You really don't need to do that with the grub. Today, I'd like to show you some examples of our cloud based software. For this, we will log in now to our Grobe Live system. In this page now, you can see all our connected machines within the organization structure of Grobe. For example, we have machines at Grobe Germany, Grobe USA, Grobe China. And then we have different app applications. The first application is our Grobe for Lion app. It's the live status of the machine. So I can choose it here now, Grobe for Lion. We choose one machine, for example, one of our Grobe machines. Here you can see now the live status from Mindelheim. So green means the machine is in automatic mode. In the last 60 minutes, we had here idle time. Afterwards, we have perfect production. As well, we can see some Part information, running time of the NC program, and the access and override code. And if there's an alarm, you will get a notification about the smartphone. So I show you here. When there's an alarm, you will get the notification like a WhatsApp message. And if you want, you can cancel the alarm and restart the machine from your television. UK's open house event and Christian you've come over here from Germany to visit the event so I want to find out from you what is happening with Grob as a global business. Grob has been in the last uh, two years I would say very successfully selling in every market. For sure the focus in the last years uh, have been the automotive industry. We know from 2016-17 that the automotive industry transitioned more and more into the EV space. Grob has created developed technologies for that space we have also delivered and created very large CNC machines, for example, for gigacastings, 
to machine battery trays. So the whole EV space, combustion space, automotive space is covered by Group. We have currently, I would say, worldwide 50 to 70 percent market share in every single region. Success story, perfect. Historically, automotive was very, very uh, automation driven, high volumes. Yeah. But we're now we're seeing that with the aerospace as well. So the higher volumes that are coming with the aerospace, uh, engine manufacturers, rotatives, things like this. Uh, they're also now requesting automation with their solutions, uh, maximising the spin to run hours, basically. So why does your product suit that industry so well and how does that transition work from automotive across to aerospace? I think that the, 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 one of the big keys for our machine is the uh, coming from the automotive industry and the high volume, being able to transfer our knowledge from the automotive industry into the aerospace industry and taking what we've learned basically and transferring it into the, the newer technologies. And Lewis, 2025, any updates or anything to look forward to? Yeah, we've got lots to look forward to in the UK, uh, Lindsay. There's many, many installations going on around, around the UK for various OEMs, not just in the, the CNC machining market, in the, the assembly of solutions, so battery assembly, uh, electric drive unit assembly. So, yeah. And we're also recruiting still, so we're, we're a growing team. Uh, we need to recruit now, between now and the end of the year and into to, to 2025. Um, so the message really is that we're, we're here and we're here to stay.